What's up, y'all? It's Mike the Movie Guy of iWatchMike.com. Tonight, I checked out a movie, another screening, Final Destination 5. Death doesn't like to be cheated. Authorities are calling the bridge collapse a freak act of nature. It's natural causes? Yeah, more like supernatural. Death doesn't like to be cheated. I've seen this before. A lucky few survive the disaster. And then one by one, death comes for them all. There you have it, y'all. Final Destination 5 in 3D, actually playing now today in theaters. What did I think about it? I thought it was pretty damn good. Yeah, I was really on the fence with this movie because, I mean, seriously, how different can it be from Final Destination 1, 2, 3, or 4, right? I mean, why do we watch the Saw movies? Not because of the stories or anything like that. We want to see how people get killed. Well, that's what we do in Final Destination. We don't care about what's going on and who's in love and who wants to save who and all that kind of crap. No, we want to find out how is death going to kill people. And death, hmm, high five the death. Final Destination 5 doesn't hold back at all. Um, I think it probably has the most gore and bloods and guts and death really goes on a killing spree in this one more than any of the other ones that I've seen. You know, the story's pretty much the same. You know, a group of kids get on a uh, bus uh, to go to a work retreat. Guy has a vision, wakes up and goes, oh, shit. everybody go off the bus, We're, the bridge is gonna collapse. I'm not giving away too much because this is actually in the trailer of the movie, okay? Get off the bus, come on. And everybody dies, right? Except like 10 people. And Death's like, uh-uh, I ain't having that. I'm gonna kill y'all one by one. So that's what happens. The movie goes like any other movie. I mean, there's really, I don't want to give away too much. Just know that you gotta see it. Um, I know it's opening up in uh, regular, like 2D, whatever you wanna call it, and 3D. Um, I would suggest 3D. I don't normally say that, but um, 3D definitely, uh, it's pretty dope watching it in 3D, Final Destination 5. It's definitely worth checking out. Get ready. Like I said, I think it's probably, hands down, the most blood and guts of all the Final Destinations. And uh, be ready, because there's some twists and turns in this movie, and uh, don't get up to go to the restroom or get any popcorn. And if you need popcorn or refreshments, have somebody else go so you can stay and watch it, all right? So, Final Destination 5, what do I give it? Uh, I probably have to give it, because of the goreness and they didn't hold back and bones were breaking and shooting out of stuff, I would probably give it a four out of five popcorns. That's right, Final Destination 5 gets four out of five popcorns from me. And speaking of the screening, tonight when I got out, I actually talked to a few people who watched the screening themselves and I got their opinion about what they thought about Final Destination 5 and here it is. What's going on? It's Mike of uh, iWatchMike.com. Here we go. We got Harvey from Mega 101. We just watched Final Destination 5. And uh, Harvey, I just got to get your, because uh, I know you're a big movie fan. What did you think? The minute it starts, action packed. Who needs an amusement park? It's a roller coaster. These 3D glasses, the minute you put it on, it's nonstop fun. The action seats are bloodier. I was just like wiping it on my face on my nonstop blood. It also has a little bit of comedy in there. The death scenes were wow. I was like, no, they did not do that. Makes you think twice about death. It's gonna come get you. I saw this movie, I loved it. It has it's worth every penny. I can't wait for the fact that it had it all love it and at the same time I'm just like wow it is so good it's bloody and we're all gonna meet our final destination I made it tonight when I saw it and I can say summer ended perfect with Final Destination 5 and 3D got Walter right here uh, he just checked out Final Destination 5 Walter what you think about the movie hey it was a pretty pretty damn good movie um, no I've watched the first one the second one it hasn't been a long time since I've seen any of the Final Destination and I gotta say it was the best one so far. So it's pretty, would you say it's pretty much to say, safe to say that if you haven't watched the first four, that this one here is pretty easy to follow? Oh yeah, definitely. Actually, it's, uh, it's better if you start with this one. You know what I mean? Now, there you you go. know what I mean. All right, well there you have it. Final Destination 5, is it worth checking out? Oh definitely, with 3D, my first 3D movie too, so it was, it was best. Uh, here we go, y'all, and uh, here are two uh, spectators that watched the movie today. What did you think about uh, Final Destination 5? Best 3D film of the summer. Really? Yes. That is your. Uh, what was yeah, it? even better than the cartoons that were in 3D. Any uh, any of uh, your favorite parts of the movie? Oh, I wanted to throw up in many of the parts, but <laughs> where the girls' guts come out from the sailboat, yeah. That's when I. Yeah, that was disgusting. And what about you? Do you have any favorite parts? Um, I know that you're not a big fan of a horror movie, so was this too scary for you or? It was just really gory, but I could stand it. You, you kept your eyes open most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> So, Only one of my eyes. 
like this. So you, would you guys uh, recommend the movie to uh, everybody? Yes, yes definitely. definitely. Go watch it.